fucking gross. Uh, welcome back to Power Plays. I hope you got that burp. Um, so we're gonna do some backtracing. All right. And we're gonna actually go back to obliterate the battleship. Oh no. Um, and we're gonna take X this time. Yeah, because we need X's ability. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I should just show this all again, or I should just tell. Or if I should have just started well, the part we, already. We should. Pro we probably should start the part at the spot. Okay. I don't know. We can just watch. We can talk. We can. About, we can we watch can, X can, do it too. Yeah. So we like, can. St we can talk about our feelings. Talk. <laughs> just talk about stories and stuff. We can talk about what we did today. Oh, that's true. So, so like. So I took him down the strip of awesome uh, here in my town, and it's it's just pretty much like. All right. So it's the place that I work. I work at a game store. Uh, but we hit a, um, an anime stop first. I picked up this really, really cute, like, chocobo. It uh, is fucking adorable, actually. This really cute chocobo plushie. Uh, this is harder with X, by the way. I'm just oh, gonna yeah. say that. <laughs> oh, fish! <laughs> <And> fish! <laughs> then, then we hit a, uh, a, like, a swap shop. Did you buy something in the swap shop? I did. I actually, they had a, um, they had a deal on, like, uh, games are ten bucks. They don't really know the prices of games there, I guess. Yeah, that's and, right. And um, they had three for twenty, and I got what I get. The uh, bag is right oh, beside it, me. You got enchanted arms. Oh, enchanted arms. Um, what was it? Uh, Armor Core Five. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember. Um, I can't I remember the third one. What was it? I don't remember. Oh, well, the bag is literally oh, right beside me. Oh, fuck, I don't want to get up. <sighs> I could check it at some point. Yeah. Well, anyway, after that, we hit up my game store, and then you bought you bought some gifts that we're not going to talk about because... Some... One of them's for a good friend of yeah, mine. Yeah, one's, one's for, for some friends. Um, And you got all three games for nine bucks because mm -hmm. I'm baller fucking like that. Mm -hmm. uh, then, after that, we hit... We got some Timmies, because we're, we're Canadians. Well, I actually got a Slurpee, because you're fucking... Okay, the game store you work at has a fucking Slurpee machine. Yeah, a slushy. Not a Slurpee. slushy machine. Okay, whatever. Slush puppy, actually. Yeah, we have an slush actual puppy. slush puppy. We have an actual slush puppy machine. Which I used to get when I was a kid, going to... Uh, when I used to go to hockey, I used yeah. to get a slush puppy. Um, uh, after... Before... I can't... Or after hockey games. And actually... Yeah. It's funny, how I got Mega Man X is, um, anytime we got, me and my brother scored a goal during ho a hockey game, Dad would buy us a video game, a wow. Super Nintendo game. Wow, that's, that's really um, neat. Keep in mind, this was like 95, so the Super Nintendo was on its, like, later years, so a lot of games were at cash converters and stuff, which is a franchise that I think is still around. And so we got Mega Man X from cash converters, we also got, oh... That's actually, like, how I first experienced Mega Man 3X, so, actually, like, I can't remember if it was me or Brock who scored a goal, but anytime we scored a goal, Dad basically said, I will buy you a Super Nintendo game. Our choice was Super Nintendo game or five bucks, and yeah. most of the time we picked the game, because the games would cost more. <laughs> so I just, see, I just see your dad, like, planning something like that, I was like, I'll make sure they're always defensemen. <laughs> no, 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 Brock, Brock was a defenseman for a little while, but uh, he still okay. scored goals. There's an extra life! Another life, now we're at nine. The circle is now complete. When I left, I was but a learner. Now I am the master. Oh, goodness. Only a master of lives, Mega Man. <laughs> so, okay, so that's how I experienced a lot of Super Nintendo games, because at that point, that's when a lot of Super Nintendo games were being resold yeah. by, like, third-party stores. So, like, Mega Man X, I actually got that way because one of us scored a goal in hockey. Yeah, I remember getting my Super Nintendo, like, kind of later on as well. Like, I didn't get it when it came out. Yeah. Um... I got lucky, and my dad bought both a Genesis and a Super Nintendo at the same time. Your dad's like a fucking doctor. Yeah, what? well, you know, it's not just glorify as you can say, oh, I got luck I was lucky to have that. Well, my dad will never bought me stuff just because yeah. he wanted to buy well, yeah. stuff. Well, yeah, well, dad only bought those first because he's like, you yeah. did a good job. I get, I get good games. grades, I get a, a video game system, you know? Like, yeah. It's not. And, it's I not mean, it's not like I never played the Genesis. Like Corey was the spoiled kid in our uh, of our friends. So, okay, this game actually, I have a story about this game you that need I want to. Share. You need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to fucking. You need to better. concentrate on. Okay, I have a story about this game though. Um, I first played You're this dead. game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm dead. I first played this game because um. Corey and he didn't remember this. I had to remind him of this story. Anyways, 
I first played this game because when the PlayStation, uh, when this game came out, um, Corey's aunt, who spoiled the crap out of him, took him to a game store to rent this game and a PlayStation because he didn't own a PlayStation. He had he had the Genesis and the Super Nintendo and the N64, but he didn't have a PlayStation. So um, he rented a PlayStation and this game, and he called me up. He's like, "Hey, I got X5." I'm like, "What?" Because I heard this game was coming out. He's like, yeah, you want to play it? I'm like, yes! <laughs> and I think him and I, we we sucked at it, but we it was just cool because we got a whole weekend to play this game. Yeah. And uh, eventually, when I got my PlayStation that my dad bought with Canadian Tire money, no joke. All, like, all paid for on Canadian Tire? Pretty money? much all paid for Canadian Tire money. Um, we got... We got this game. I got this you game. You should keep using X4. charge shots, yeah. by the way. Yeah, it seems to be working better. Except when it's like that, so... Boom. It See? works there. And that, now, you could have shot it through the... Yeah, I could Through have the missiles. But, like, I want to get it for the, like, the, the double hit, so... Fuck. Wow. Good job. Thanks. That's... Thanks. You had a rhythm. I am going. doing really good. I'm glad that you're noticing how well I'm doing at this game. Yeah, I know. Just one and that's that's out. the problem is you were doing fantastic at this game and now you're sucking at it. <laughs> I never suck at this game. What are you talking about? I'm doing you so You died well at on it. this before. I didn't. That didn't happen. Yes, you did. No, I yes, didn't. Yes, it did. I think you're crazy. Yeah. You and did. see, you're going to think that Rover's going to cut this out, but he's not. He's, he's going to show it in all of his I, glory. We never told him to cut it out. So. Yeah, but he could have said, you know what, I think I'm going to be nice to Zero and I'm going to cut it out. But now that you said that it doesn't exist, he's not going to do it. So we have video record that you're a liar. Well, we also have video record that I just put this thing fucking ass. So. Yeah, after dying to it. Well, now <laughs> I can get the thing that I need to get. So. Mm. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I first played this game because Corey yeah. rented a PS1 or a PlayStation just because the PS1 wasn't out yet. Yeah, um, like, I I remember I got, um, like, back when I was in um, elementary school, I was in French Immersion here in Canada. For all you American viewers... Oh, you had to go to French Immersion. I had French, I had French Immersion. I suck so bad at French. Like, super bad up until grade 5. I got, uh, back in the day when things were like 1, 2, 3, 4, and then R, when the the grades were like that mm -hmm. i got a terrible a terrible grade of all my stuff because in french immersion everything is um is it goo chaser i thought yeah you, you have to use it you have to get to a certain angle though and i don't want to go off screen oh wait no there, there we, we go. go but um yeah i was doing so terribly so mathematics you know, all the other okay. core things. Keep in mind, what French immersion is, is everything is in French. Except for English. Except for English. It's the yeah. only class that's so, not in French. So, math, science, all that stuff. And I got R's. I got the worst thing on everything except English, which was an A. So, my dad's like, alright, we need to do something about this. Like, is it the French? I'm like, yeah, it's really the French. And he took me out and put me in English immersion, and I stayed in English immersion from grade 6 onward. On my grade 6 report card, my second report card after switching to the English class, I got A's on everything. And my dad had rewarded me by going out and buying me a PlayStation with Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy 7. Is that when you knew you wanted to do English teaching as like... Well, I, I could say looking back at it, saying that that was the first time that I realized that the English language was something that I could really grasp onto. I don't want to say particularly that it's what made me an English teacher. It's just sort of like, I got it. I didn't have to struggle through that language anymore. I didn't know you went to French Merchant. I learned new stuff every day. Yeah, my, I know. My cousins had to go to it until high school. Yeah. And look, we completed the Falcon Armor, man. And we got Life Plus 2. All right. So, and we still have time for another guy, so I'm yeah. going to go ahead and do that. And see, like, through all that, I, I got a PlayStation a lot later than a lot of other kids. Yeah. And I had an N64 at that point, because... It was just, like, the best. Like, I have the best memories of playing with my grandfather yeah. and stuff. And it's it's sort of like all my games were mostly on, on the 64. So my PlayStation I really didn't sort of enjoy or get into until way, way later. So, like, X4 and Metal Gear Solid and the Final Fantasy games were, like, the only games I had 
Mm -hmm. uh, that and Gex Enter the Gecko, which was Gex, Gex 2. Gex is really fun. Yeah. Um, um, but we must destroy time bombs! Uh, destroy time bombs? I yes. thought, oh, but I want to face the guard. We will after we use the Skype weapon and we show off the new Falcon Armor! <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, my God! So, I should just <laughs> say, actually, um, I got a PS1, not a PlayStation. So, like, that's what my dad bought with uh, Canadian Tire Money. And the first game I had for it... A PlayStation is a PS1. No, the PS1 model, like the P-S-O-N-E. Oh, that little tiny one? Yeah. Oh. That's actually... I actually recently got one again that's modded, so I can play Japanese games on it. So. Oh, okay. So you're a dirty, stinking cheater. That's what you are. I like playing Jap... What? Yeah, you're a cheater. I'm a cheater. Yeah, you should have bought a Japanese console. Instead of going out and so I should illegally buy modifying something. I didn't get it modified. It was already modded when I got it. Wow. And if you let the bombs explode... You take a little damage, but I already saved him. Actually, you take a lot of damage. Will that kill him if you let the bomb explode? Yeah, yeah, I think it will. I hate these guys from X4. Like, <laughs> they reuse the enemies and they recolor them. No, they, they're Repo Force. Oh, right! Yeah. Ah! Mind rep. explosion! <laughs> the Rebel Force, right? They are. It oh makes, my god. It makes perfect sense. I always sense. thought it was lazy, but it makes sense. It makes fucking sense, <laughs> it dude! Does. It does, dude. It makes sense! All the dots are aligning. See, All right, I'm discovering so new things just, about this Just game to let you guys notice, when he shoots his blast with the Falcon armor, it's like this little tiny laser beam. But it's so powerful. Look at look look at what this does. Yeah, it just destroys that. Aw, oh, damn it! <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually really funny. It like, exploded, but the timer ran out as you destroyed it, so okay, it's still so, Um, There's a couple things I can get with the Falcon armor here. No. Um, Actually, there's three things I can get with the Falcon Armor in this stage. Uh, is it this side I want to go on? Um, yes. Is it? And then I want to go over here. And just watch. Hold on. Then I want to go here. Okay. Get this health. You could have actually got that without the Falcon Armor, though. Yeah, you can, but I just like doing it with the Falcon Armor. Oh, uh, okay. Um, there we go. I'm not gonna wait for this shit. <laughs> Alright, so, and there's another thing I can get right here. So, um, I go on here, and then you gotta go up. All the way up here. Ah. Wow. <laughs> Sigma's just gonna wait. Yeah, you're gonna get affected, regardless of what you think. <laughs> He's just like, oh, I can't! God damn it, stupid cutscene! Dr. Light, stop! <laughs> Stop talking, Dr. Light. I want to invade his privacy. I'm going to change his complicated status on Facebook with zero. <laughs> it will be perfect. Alright. Oh, Mega Man, I see that you were talk, uh, talking to Hang on with Sigma there. But I got a fucking perfect for you. You so. know how terrible this would be if that Sigma virus invaded the capsule? Well, it has now. <laughs> I guess Alright, so. so. Alright, so now. And watch this. You can die from height damage in this game. Oh, ah, okay. There's falling damage. See, that's where I was. Oh, so are you saying that the uh, the the camera killed you? Is that is that what you're saying? Don't you fucking start, dude. Uh, are you saying that that camera Don't. didn't follow you? Don't. And it, and it killed you? Don't. Yeah. I'm not getting into a discussion <laughs> about Yoshi's Island again. You clear. Fuck! <laughs> I think the camera killed you there. I think it killed you. I'm tired of your sass. Go <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Get you. Get you. I'm gonna get you. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, Couldn't you just duck? Oh, you can't duck through that. You'd still get hit by the spikes. Oh. Sigma, what are you. Uh, wait, wait. Are you gonna come get me? Huh? Okay. Alright. Later. <laughs> Like, All right, well, so there's one more thing you can get here too. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a sub tank, right? Yep. Yeah. See, you know your Mega Man. Yeah, I you do. Know your Muggle Man X. I do. I played the X series like tons. Bye, Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> no, come back here. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Mega Man. Next time. Oh yeah. I'll get you next time, Gadget. I love him. I love Claw. Oh, fuck. 
And see, that's the whole thing about, like, freaking Claw. No! No, 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 no! Oh, thank God. <laughs> that's the whole thing about Claw, is do you remember when they released, like, the Inspector Gadget toys? Mm -hmm. And in the series, I don't think you ever actually get to see what Claw looks like. But the toy ruined what he looked like. Mm -hmm. Actually, and he looked dumb. He looked like... You know that guy that's in Food Fight? You know the the weird stepping evil mm -hmm. evil dude in that Food Fight movie? Yeah. He looks exactly like that. Find a toy, Roar, and show it. He actually kind of looks like it. Dr. Claw action figure. Okay. The action, yeah, the Dr. Claw action okay, figure. Okay, here's something I just noticed, too, with us whole talking about this Repliforce thing. The music in this stage specifically sounds really Repliforce-y. Like... Maybe they specifically got the composer yeah, maybe. from the last game. For I thought I thought they they used the same the same woman that does all the X games. I don't I don't know. Oh, she did X five. She did Mega Man one, yeah. and she did a couple other ones. She did so she's doing Mighty Number no. Nine. Yeah, I know. I know about so, that. Because Mighty Number no. Nine, she's not technically. Is, oh, <laughs> Mighty Number no. Nineteen is so good. Uh, yeah. X, oh, I've right. wanted to meet you, but considering the situation. We don't have time for small talk. Soon, the Reploid Air Force the will Repl be Force. the Repla Force will be destroyed. You may be our only hope, but you'll have to convince me first. Through battle. Wow, I didn't even get a line. That's me. So this guy is very he's reminiscent. Easy. Now he's, he's very easy. easy with fucking X, and he's reminiscent of Storm Eagle, actually. Though yeah. he has probably the coolest design ever. Like, I really like his design. Yeah, he's he's a really he's a, he's my favorite boss in this game. Alright, cause uh, this is something as a kid that I that me and my friends came up with is we thought it would be really cool if you could mix Power Rangers with the Mega Man X boss. I actually have a cool story I gotta tell you. Yeah. In well, I, I haven't finished mine, okay, so you can finish shut your, your finish mouth your fucking story then. <laughs> it's about this boss though, so Yeah, but it's just sort of like it was one of those things where we really had like lots and lots of fun. Does that actually make you invincible? Yep. Oh. To I... Not all attacks, like those missiles from before. Yeah, okay. But for him him doing his dashes and stuff. But yeah, like everybody could like morph into the the like Maverick the Mavericks of the series, and I thought it was really, really cool. Like of course, being like the main harbinger of this idea, I like totally always pick the cool ones. That's why I like Magnus Centipede. I think he's probably one of the cooler bosses in uh, uh, in X. And I gave the other people in my friends group like the stupid looking ones. Like I'm sure I made the fat kid Bubble Crab. You're a dick. <laughs> so you would be Bubble Crab You're in my story. A dick to. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'll get on. You can get on to your boss okay. story now. Uh, uh, well, basically, my story is um, I thought this boss was so cool. I had a friend in high school, uh, my friend Sam. She, uh, no, wait, sorry, my friend Steph. It was my friends. They, they were twins. So <laughs> let me, let me. Sorry, you're talking about kids here, and I was, I just thought of My Little Pony. <laughs> we just killed the My Little Pony Maverick. <laughs> Anyways. My friend Steph, um, she was a really good artist, and what I did is, I really liked this boss and his wings, yeah. so what I asked her is I lent her the manual for this, which has all the boss's designs in there, I'm like, can you make a piece of each boss into Mega Man so he has like a special super maverick, like, when he beats his enemy, he takes something like Skyward's wings, like, ah! <laughs> and sticks them in him, and she did it. And she gave the weapons to everyone. If I still that, have the drawing, that image looked really violent. If in I my still, head. <laughs> if I still have the drawing, I'll uh, scan it and give it to Rower to put up here. Uh, okay. It's really cool. She did a really good job on it. <laughs> but, but the uh, in anyway, in the motions of the noise that you guys heard, <laughs> I had this image of X like stepping on the back of the Skyver and just ripping his wings off. <laughs> like, <laughs> Super brutally, <laughs> and we got the burst shot. Yeah, you get that because I saved one of the guys and he had it. Ah, okay. Th they f made that in the next game too, so you want to see. She just called it the Repl Force. The Reploid Force. Oh, oh it's not the Repl Force. Remember, all the remember, this was a different translator than X Four. Right. And X Four was Rush, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it totally was rushed. It sounded like the janitors were doing the voiceovers. <laughs> I think we'll be back to the Hunter Base. All right, so. Um, wow, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, this, this is, is not the longest part. This is not the longest part, but it's not the longest yard either, so. Alright. Oh, God. So, 
Isn't that an about, Adam Sandler movie? The remake was. Oh. Right. Well, oh, yeah, it had what's da- it? My dad's seen the original, and I actually watched the remake with him. Oh. He's like, you know what? That wasn't too bad. What what do they what do they call what's that actor's name again that was in the first one? Uh, I can't think of it. Rur, can you put it up? Thanks. Ah, uh, okay. Um anyways, next time on Power Plays, we're gonna do some more of this game. So see you then.